Welcome to TTLC, Tingles Test Laboratories. Bienvenidos al LSS, Laboratorio de Sonidos Sensitivos. Here at TTLC, we test everyday objects for the best tingle sensations. Aquí en LSS, probamos varios objetos que se ocupan día a día para encontrar los mejores sonidos sensitivos. We test objects from soft fabrics, to crinkly plastics. to various glass material, to harder metals, and much more. Probamos objetos de fábricas, suave, plásticos arrugados, Varios materiales de vidrio y cristales y metales y mucho más. To submit your ideas and or requests to TTLC, please comment your suggestion in the space provided below. Para someter sus ideas, sus ideas o peticiones, I -O -O -I. <laughs> Peticiones a LSS, por favor comete, comentan, comentan sus, su sugerencia en el espacio provisto bajo este video. Today, today we're testing a jar or container of mixed nuts. This is a uh, mighty big jar or container of nuts. The ingredients are, let me read them to you here, we got uh, cashews, almonds, hazelnuts, pecans, brazil nuts, my favorite canola oil and sea salt well that's what's on the nuts may contain peanuts other tree nuts sesame milk eggs soy wheat and mustard may also contain shell fragments I'm not sure you can see that but uh, it's outside of the um, ingredients box. So I wonder what else they're leaving outside of the box. Okie dokie, this plastic jar. We're just going to test the durability of it. The sounds of the tapping on plastic. Find the ones. 
here we have an obvious cashew. I'm not sure if you can see that. That is definitely a cashew. It looks like a like a bean. This one's a little burnt. That's okay. Next, another obvious one. This is the almond, which is rather almond shaped. Who the thunk? It's it's like a raindrop. It's like the shape of a raindrop. You know what? I totally forgot I was doing this both in English and Spanish. It's so silly. Okay. I'm I'm just gonna do it in English for now. And then we'll figure out the Spanish part later. Okay, here we have... No, that one's broken. I believe this is a pecan. It's the one that's shaped like the lungs or something. Is this a pecan? Or is this um? What's the other one I'm thinking of? I have it in um, the Dairy Queen Blizzard. The Georgia Mud Fudge. I think it's pecans. Let me see here. We have cashew almonds, hazelnuts, pecans, Brazil nuts, canola oil. I think that's a pecan. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, these are my favorites. It's a larger nut. And it's kind of like a like the almond. Like in shape, but it's a little chunkier. This one's my favorite, the Brazil nut. And I think, was that all of them? We have cashew, almond, hazelnut. The hazelnuts are these boys right here. Little round, round looking ones. You see that? We got cashew, almond, hazelnut, pecan, and Brazil nut. Uh, let's get two of each so that we can um, do a maximum crunch test. That's, oh, that's a small one. Oh, it's so, it's so small. Brazil nut. No, that's not a Brazil nut. They put only like five Brazil nuts in these packs. So it's gonna be. Oh, thank goodness, there's another one there. All right. So first, we'll try the crunch test of the cashew. Very crunchy. More like a, like a brittle. It's like a cookie that's been left out too long and it gets soft, you know? <laughs> the taste is amazing though. It's like I don't taste any bitterness. It's, it's sweet. Let's try another one. Break it in half first. That's what it looks like on the inside. Nice and smooth. Maybe that's why they make milk out of it. How do you milk a cashew? You'd have to squeeze that really hard. Soft, like brittles, crunch. It's like on the softer side. I need to wash that out so I can taste the other ones. I forgot to mention, which I probably. 
probably should have mentioned at the beginning. If you're allergic to peanuts, stay away from this video. I mean, I'm not sure how allergic you are. Like, if you're like on the spectrum of like, I don't know, you sneeze or, you know, get a little bit. Red skin, use your skin breakout, or are you like more on the extreme side of things? Like where, where it's like, if you go near the molecule of a nut, will you start to choke and like get, will your throat swell up and you can't breathe, or is it like really extreme where if you even look at a nut, even from the screen, you start to like convulse and get paralyzed and stuff I don't know but I'll put that somewhere in the in the title so that you do not get um, an allergic reaction from the visuals of nuts sucks though allergies suck let's proceed the next nut will be testing the raindrop shaped one, or almond. I love how smooth they are when you like crack them open. Let me see if I can do it. It doesn't always work, but. Darn, I didn't do it in half. Like I did in half, but not the way I wanted to. And here's the crunch test of the almond. A little more crunch here than the cashew. You can get like a good four crunches in there. After the fifth bite, it's just like it gets smooth, like the cashew. Maybe that's why they make milk out of almond. Let's see if I can split this one in half trying. Darn it. Oh, this one looks toasty. Oh well. No, I really want to. It's like, I gotta show you. Hold on. I'm gonna grab another one because... Like the inside of the almond. I don't think you can see it. Right there. No. It's just so smooth. Sometimes I like to like rub it on my lips because it's so smooth. <laughs> level out of five I'd rate it a two this one the almond two and a half now these little puppies right here the hazelnuts I know right off the bat I'm gonna give this a three the taste for the almond is a little more on the bitter side but it's still a little bit sweet now this is the hazelnut Pretty crunchy. And it's got like a... I don't know how to describe this taste. It's like a perfect balance of sweet and bitter. I don't know. 
hazelnut. Hazelnut. What does a hazelnut taste like besides a hazelnut? And aren't these the little ones? Aren't isn't hazelnut what they use for Nutella or Nutella or the good stuff? Yeah, it's like, like su it's not sweet, but it's not bitter. It's like right in the middle. Now, I don't know. Here's a here's a problem I have with uh, when I eat nuts. I don't know if it's a problem <laughs> or if it's allergies, but let me describe in a second. I'm just gonna tell you from the top of my thoughts it's probably not correct the first time but it's something like <laughs> my throat gets a little scratchy <laughs> it's not it's not allergies my throat does not swell up it doesn't get itchy it just feels like I've been swallowing like pieces of wood <laughs> like like wood dust I'm gonna wash it down with some water and I'm fine. But does that happen to you? I'm asking you who are not allergic to nuts. Alright, let's proceed. This is a pecan, or mostly a pecan. It's got some missing. Let's eat the full one. Here's a pecan. this one. The crunch test. They put these in the Georgia mud fudge. At least in Canada. Um, in the Dairy Queen blizzard. And um, my goodness, it's so yummy. It's so soft. It's got like a light crunch. Taste amazing. I think it's these ones, the skin that. <laughs> no, 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 it's almonds. It's it, enough of that. Here's another one, a little more dry because the other one I kind of moistened it up first. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a shortbread cookie, almost like that soft texture. But that soft, crispy, not, not crispy. I don't know. Like a very soft crunch. A light crunch, if you will. Alright, we're moving on to the last, but not least. Definitely not least. These are my crunch faves. Five out of five crunch. Five out of five crunch. Listen to this. crunches out of this bad boy and they're huge in comparison yeah. I mean I'm sure there's different size of each nut but let me just do a quick comparison of the size pecans definitely pretty big up there 
So the biggest one is the Brazil nut. Next is the pecan. Then the almond, cashew, and hazelnut. Let's see if I can uh, bring this closer. So you can see what I'm talking about. See? And this is one of my favorite crunchy ones. Five out of five crunch. crunch out of that one. The rest is just mushing, which I'm not a fan of, but some people are. All right. Not all right. Not all right. Now, Sounds like pop rocks. Hey, <clears throat> that actually tastes good. There you have it. Mix nuts. Nuts. And that's it. That's all we got for you today. Thanks for um, joining us here at the TTLC Tingles Test Laboratories. So sorry about the Spanish version of this. We'll have to be reposted another time. It's just that. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. If you have any, like I said, any requests or stuff please leave it in the comment below thanks again see you later